I said, but as soon as that cat walked up there and he was representing whatever channel it was that was in the top five, I was like, they can give it to that freaking guy. They're gonna, they're gonna give it to him. The doggone politics, it's wrong. Good morning. Hey. This is us on day two of CVX Live Provo. And we are walking to food we can't pronounce. Oh, Kolaches, I, I think. Kolaches. It's Czech breakfast. Yeah. So I found a good cup of coffee in Provo. <laughs> it's a really a... good cup of coffee. What's the name of the place? Shout uh, out. Peace on Earth. Shout out to Peace on Earth for getting my husband a good cup of coffee. It's hard to get a good cup of, good cup of coffee. I think it's hard to get coffee in Provo. It's hard to get coffee This is a Provo. really good cup of coffee by any measure. Provo's really, really quiet. CVX Live is really, really quiet. <laughs> really quiet. Discovered when Char and Allie posted their video that they're staying in our hotel. Also saw the Shaytard kids run past us to the pool, so apparently it's where the creators are staying. <laughs> Peace on Earth. Egg and cheese. Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's good. So what we're going to be doing together, whoever wins, is there's uh, I'm a team of nine people who work for me, and a bunch of us are YouTube strategists. We work with a lot of creators, a lot of clients, a lot of brands, help them grow from like zero views, zero subscribers, zero videos, to 30 million, 60 million views a month in like six to nine months time. We've taken some people to like like a year and a half to get to 1,400 subscribers, and now they're doing 1,400 subscribers a day. We have a, an awesome trophy and uh, um, that we're going to be presenting as well, but thanks to Utah Film Commission for making this uh, uh, contest possible. Let's watch the top five. <laughs>
the top five. Let's have the top five come up real quick and just give, give a quick shout out before we announce the winner. Haley and Spoon, Moffitt's in the making, Captain Kikariki, Provost Park Pass, and Riv and Al. So we've got Moffitt's in the making here. So just real quick, tell us, uh, just real quick summary, 30 seconds. We are a daily vlogging, <laughs> a family daily vlog channel, and we just like to focus on keeping things as real as possible and finding the beauty in the simple moments. I'm Captain Kikariki, and I do animations of fandoms and bring characters to new life in a funny way. We are Riv and Al, and we are a uh, cinematic docuseries vlog series. I'm Haley from Haley and a Spoon, and I do things about chronic illness and gluten-free living. I'm producer Zach from Provost Park Pass, and we are a channel all about traveling, theme parks, and most of all, Disneyland. Wow. All right, thanks guys. Let's give a hand to the top five finalists. She would be crying, and Miles, the two-year-old son, would not know what's going on. Um, but thank you guys so much. Uh, we really appreciate the judges and everything, and we're just we're just excited to see this thing grow. Thank you. And we have an awesome trophy for you. This is the next big creator trophy. So, as you can see in the video, um, my friends Riven Al and the, my new friend Haley did not win the top video creator because they gave it to somebody working on the staff of CBX Live. It's kind of a conflict of interest. They didn't qualify to win because you had to be present to win and the host of the show wasn't there, but the producer was and he was one of the moderators of the event, the host, and they gave the prize to one of their own. I wonder if you got the vote. No, um, there was a general vote on the, like like a you know vote online, and then there was the creators. So it was like I think it was like Daryl Eves and Roberto Blake and hmm. and Tim Schmoyer that got to vote. So and it was just one of those I go to Disneyland channels. It wasn't anything exciting. It just seemed. I don't care about any of that stuff. This is your thing. I said, but as soon as that cat walked up there and he was representing whatever channel it was that was in the top five, I was like, they can give it to that freaking guy. They're gonna, they're gonna give it to him. The doggone politics, it's wrong. There was a heavy flavor of that throughout the event. It's probably enough that while I think Provo is kind of a cool town and I don't mind being here and in the, the summer, the weather's great and fantastic, I probably won't be going to CBX Live again. That was a one shot. I came, I saw. It's a little bit creeped out. It was just a little creepy. That ending part, that was really creepy. You're not smart enough to understand the, the appearance of impropriety, to conflict of interest. I think they're so used to nepotism and favoritism here that they don't even think about it. I think that's how Provo operates. It's probably how most of Utah operates. I have no idea. Not how it should be. I wouldn't want to be a small business that wasn't part of the clique. I don't think it would be awesome. Yeah, so the event is done and uh, yeah, kind of in a bit of a mood. <laughs> I don't even care. And, I'm and you're mad. <laughs>